And you know, the same kind of, whether you want to call it cowardice or compromise or corruption, that has led people to be reluctant to throw the book at crooked bankers is also now showing up in the pharmaceutical industry. We talked last week about Big Pharma and its role in not only opioid deaths and addictions, but rising levels of addiction to drugs like fentanyl and heroin. And to follow up as a kind of macabre postscript on all of that, first of all, it's important to note that between the years 2000 and 2015, 180,000 people died of overdoses. They died of um, prescription painkiller overdoses, to be specific. Uh, it is important to keep that figure in mind when reviewing the settlement that uh, Jefferson Beauregard Sessions III's Justice Department just uh, made with the opioid manufacturer Malincrot Pharmaceuticals. They re recently announced a $35 million settlement over charges that the company never got around to reporting signs that large amounts of its OxyContin pills were being redirected from legitimate sales to the black market in Florida. Now, they looked the other way while this was going on. And uh, as a result, a lot of people got into the, uh, got access to OxyContin, and some of those people died. Now, how grave was the offense of, that uh, Malincrot Pharmaceuticals was guilty of? At one point, government officials calculated that they could sue them for as much as $2.3 billion in fines for nearly 44,000 violations of the Federal Controlled Substances Act. But did they find them $2.3 billion? No, they settled with them for a measly $35 million. Life is cheap when you're a drug manufacturer or a politician who's afraid to throw the book at them. Look, the lesson here is clear. Until manufacturers, and specifically executives at manufacturers like Malincrot Pharmaceuticals, are held personally responsible, the deaths will continue.